Russian government will allow Erpel XARP XARP to $40,000? Despite the fact that Ripple's chief technology officer, David Schwartz, says he is still most concerned about payments, he also drew attention to carbon credits and gaming EFTs. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. Please watch this video to the end, like it, and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos. Also in this video, we will show the lucky winner of Give Away Free 500 XARP, and maybe it will be you. So watch the video carefully until the end. A heated debate on Twitter between Craig Wright, who is known for his statements that he is Satoshi Nakamoto, and David Schwartz, Ripple's chief technical officer, attracted the attention of cryptocurrency supporters. The dispute began with Schwartz criticizing Wright's view of institutional adoption of Bitcoin. Craig Wright tweeted that Bitcoin cannot be accepted by institutional investors until it is restored in accordance with the law. However, the technical director of Ripple called this comment stupid for many reasons. He wondered why institutional investors are the target market for peer, to peer digital money. At the same time, he added, which jurisdictions will it cover? After all, Bitcoin, as you know, is designed to become a counterweight to the banking system. To this, the self-proclaimed creator of Bitcoin hinted that the technical director of Ripple does not know how finance works, and he has no idea how the legal framework works. He added that David Schwartz does not really understand Bitcoin, and he has no experience in institutional investing. Craig Wright, in his further comments, mentioned Ripple and its native cryptocurrency, Exerp. He stated that Ripple's A2 has a very limited area of expertise. He called Exerp the most useless pump-head-dump scheme in the whole industry. On the other hand, he developed XRP, the most useless pump-and-dump scheme in this entire industry, he tweeted. To which Schwartz replied that Wright was abusing the legal system to steal intellectual property rights and defame those who disagree with his opinion about Bitcoin. The head of Ripple called Wright a despicable coward who sues people for sharing their opinions. In response to such accusations, Wright argued that any statement about him must be supported by factual evidence, otherwise it could be considered libel. The debate then centered around XRP and its legitimacy, with Wright accusing Ripple of not showing how their technology is deployed anywhere other than paid trials. Wright then made a bold statement that he intended to conduct an academic analysis of XRP in 2023, which will show how dishonest the system is. Wright also predicted that Ripple would lose to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission Craig Stephen Wright is an Australian computer scientist and businessman. He has publicly stated that he is the main part of the team that created Bitcoin and the person behind the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. These statements are regarded as false by many media outlets and the cryptocurrency community. Ripple and the U.S. SEC filed a motion to classify several documents related to petitions for summary judgment in summary proceedings and James Phelan released an updated schedule for the court. Interestingly, the commission is still trying to hide Heinemann's documents from the public. Ripple has filed a motion to classify some documents related to summary judgments, which both parties filed their petitions in the fall of this year. The Ripple team submitted the documents again, but this time with the proposed corrections, classified along with the current offer letter. The letter emphasizes that the defendants are not seeking to make any changes to the summary of the judgment and have requested a very small number of edits to some documents and asked for some documents and physical evidence to be completely classified as they are very sensitive and confidential. <coughs> the SEC has also filed a motion to close some documents and the SEC documents show that they are still not ready to release Hyman's documents. In the document, the SEC asks District Judge Annalisa Torres not to publish the documents and also threatens. The Securities and Exchange Commission respectfully asserts that Heinemann's speech documents are protected by privileges. But if these documents became public, the SEC would be deprived of the right to put forward such arguments in the future, when appealing this or other court proceedings, which would cause great damage to the SEC. Ripple community lawyer Jeremy Hogan commented on this paragraph in the document.
The sex still claims that Heinemann's emails are privileged, despite the fact that this issue has already been played about 100 times. It takes my mind away, and it makes me wonder again and again what's in them. Another public lawyer, Bill Morgan, points to the threat the SEC is hinting at. According to the SEC, Torres is not authorized to publish Heinemann's documents because they can appeal the decision in summary proceedings. Ultimately, the agency claims that it did not waive the privilege against the public because it turned over the emails to Ripple in accordance with the order. In addition, the lawyer says that, according to the court's conclusions, there is no privilege that can or cannot be waived. At the same time, Morgan recognizes the legitimacy of the sex argument, since the sec can still appeal. This does not completely solve the privacy problem. However, the Securities and Exchange Commission's statement makes it clear that Heinemann is of paramount importance to its enforcement policy. Another victory for Ripple at this stage could be a victory for the entire crypto industry. On December 22, lawyer Phelan also posted a new schedule update on the Ripple, Sec case on his Twitter. He also mentioned that the parties had to file petitions for the classification and editing of material evidence and documents related to summary judgments. In addition, if any non-parties are involved in the lawsuit and they wish to request that anything other than what Ripple and the Sec request be classified, he must submit such a letter of petition by January 4. Riplex the Ripple affiliate responsible for developing the XRP ledger and supporting ecosystem developers, has launched Xerple Bounty, a new developer financing program with a certain set of conditions. Circle Bounty funds developers and teams to execute use cases and projects that benefit the community. The projects are open source and all ideas are published in the public domain. Find out more. Join the discussion and get rewarded today. Serple Bounties is a program that funds software developers and teams to implement specific ideas and projects that benefit the XRP ledger, XRPL, community. In the spirit of the publicly accessible and transparent XRP ledger registry, the source code of XRPL Bounties is completely open, and all ideas are published in the public domain. At the moment, five bounties offers have been opened the most popular of which concerns the creation of a presence confirmation infrastructure that will allow the NFT in the XRP registry to confirm presence at any event. One of the interesting and unusual awards that are now open for discussion is the integration of Unreal Engine 5, an advanced game engine. According to the author's idea, this will allow game developers to include the XRP ledger functionality in their product and players to use the same functionality in games created on the Unreal Engine. For example, it is on this engine that the popular Fortnite multiplayer shooter on the PlayStation 5 console has been working recently. Important. These proposals are not yet approved bounties. Proposals. They are still awaiting consideration and approval. Each sentence will describe the problem, what the job entails, and how much money will be awarded upon completion. You can see the current price of XARP on your screens with a daily trading volume of $648,452,340 used. XARP has declined by 3.2 in the last 24 hours. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos.